this video is part of my new book called Unofficial Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting. If you want to get this book, it's entirely optional. There are links in the description. Hello everyone, it is your favorite Roblox scripting teacher. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Roblox Studio and get started making your own games. If you're following along with the book, this is chapter one, which is called Installing Studio, Printing and Creating Instances. So what you want to do is you want to go to roblox.com home. And I'm just going to refresh it to show you what this page is. So this is your home page. And the next thing you want to do is you want to find this create button right up here. You're going to click it and it will take you to this create page. Now, this page might look a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this download studio button and it will prompt me to open Roblox. So I'm going to click open Roblox and now it's going to download studio. So now this is installing Roblox Studio. And what is Roblox Studio? Roblox Studio is basically the engine that we use to create our games. So once Roblox Studio has been finished with the downloading and installation, it's going to prompt you with this screen right here. This is an auto recovery screen, which we can get rid of because we don't need it. I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger by clicking the maximize. Probably going to be on this my game screen, but if you haven't, you're going to be on new. And in case you are on this my game screen, just click on new right here. And now what you want to do is you want to find this base plate right here and you're going to click on it and Roblox will now load your base plate. There it is. This is your base plate. This is the default game that Roblox provides us with when we start a new game. Now I'm going to introduce you to some of the windows. So this right here on the right is called the Explorer window. And this basically tells us everything that we've got in our game. This is the properties window, which tells us everything about a particular item in our game that has been selected. So for example, I can click this arrow to expand the workspace and I can click on spawn location. And then this properties tells me all of the stuff about the spawn location. And you can see that it's highlighted right here. So the spawn location is this thing right here with the little circle, the little fancy swirl, and it's highlighted in blue. And all of these are the properties of the spawn location. Now, if you have other windows open besides Explorer and Properties, we can just get rid of them by pressing the X right here and right here. And we can actually resize this by dragging it as shown. The third window is called the Output window. And to enable it, we have to go to View and click on Output. This Output window provides scripts with a way of communicating with us. So for example, if I have a script, I can make it print something to the output. So I can make it put whatever words I want right here. Now this output window is really useful for finding bugs. So what are bugs? Well, bugs are basically things that don't work in our code. So for example, if I wanted hello to show up on output and instead it printed goodbye, then that would be a bug because I wanted hello to show up, but it actually printed goodbye. So the output window is basically very useful for catching those things. So now we can start our very first script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into server script service. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to click on insert object and I'm going to click on script. Alternatively, you can use this search bar right here to type script. And you're going to find this white grayish looking one. It's just a script. You're going to add it. And there is our very first script. Now, this script is not empty. It already has some words. So the words, it says print and it says hello world. So what does this mean? Well, let's play our game. You can play your game by pressing this blue button right here, or you can press F5 on your keyboard. So as I'm playing the game, I can see my characters right here, and I see Hello World is on the output. So let's go back to our script and let's see what happened. So it seems that the script had Hello World somewhere on it, and it says Hello World right here. And I see this word called print. So now I'm thinking, well, it says print hello world and hello world has been printed. So that's all it is. This print thing, it tells Roblox to put whatever is inside of these parentheses into the output. So I can actually change this hello world to goodbye world. And now if I press play, it says goodbye world. I can change this to whatever I want and it will put it right inside the output. For example, I can say, thanks for watching. 
and if I press F5, that'll play my game and it will print, thanks for watching. So that is what this print thing does. It basically just tells this script to send something to our output. And that something is whatever is inside of this parenthesis. So if we get rid of this, let's learn how to actually write it. So we know that to put something on the output, you need the word print. So we start with that, print. Okay, well now we have to remember a couple things. Firstly, we have to remember that there's a parenthesis. And secondly, we have to remember that there's a quotation. And then we can write whatever we want. So why is there a parenthesis and why is there a quotation? Well, that's gonna come later on. I wanna keep things simple. So just remember, it's print, parenthesis, quotation, then you can type whatever you want, and it will print on the output. All right, so that is how you can install Studio, add a script, and print stuff to the output. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we will continue this on the next video.